Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. First, I would like to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel, liked all my videos, my subscriber count has been going up, and the amount of watch time and views that my videos have been getting has also been going up. So I want to thank you guys so much for clicking my videos and sharing and subscribing. So today's video is extra special to me. So in honor of Black History Month, I am going to be talking about a few black brands that I love and some that I have recently discovered. I won't be talking about all of the black brands out there or black businesses that you guys should shop, but just a few that I have come across in the past month or so. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to comment below letting me know what black businesses that I should check out that you think that I should check out or just like other people should check out or be aware of as well. <laughs> You know I'm a black girl and it's just you know black is beautiful so and we just want to just shine light on black friends and just put more awareness out there for them without further ado let's get into this video well, the first item that I'm going to be talking about today is going to be this t-shirt that I'm wearing I don't know if you guys can see it but it says black history month and it looks like this with the young lady she has a fro here and a green background and necklaces and everything else so this t-shirt that I'm wearing today, I actually purchased it from Target. If you guys have visited a Target in your area, you may have noticed that when you first walk in, there's a little section in the very front of Target. I'm not sure where it is in every store, but in my store, it was at the front. And um, when you first walk in, there's a section, it is Black History Month. So Target is honoring Black History Month and they are doing um they're like honoring a few a few black businesses some local some not so local and um you can just go in and purchase it this t-shirt was a part of the hbcu mind challenge collection so this shirt was a design about by a young lady her name is aisha and pretty much with the challenge is that they reach out to um hbcu colleges and universities for a chance to design a t-shirt or design an item for it to be featured in a Target store. So there were so many t-shirts and a lot of them were selling out quickly so I knew I had to get my hands on something so I just went on to Target.com and I ordered this t-shirt and I got it in a size small. It was like only $13 so um, shout out to Target for doing that. So the next thing that I'm going to be showing you guys today that I picked up, the wine. So this wine is by the McBride sisters and this is their black girl magic Riesling and this wine let me tell you something this wine was very hard and difficult to find I went to their website and I was originally going to purchase the wine from their website and then I saw that the shipping was like $22 for like a $22 bottle of wine so I was like no I'm not gonna pay $44 and right now the mail is still all over the place so who's to say I would have gotten that wine in time enough to make this video so I went to the website and they had a little section a little page where you can enter your zip code and it will connect you with like local bars in your area that sells their wine so I just typed in my zip code and I found quite a few wine shops and stores bars in my area that actually carry the wine and I wanted specifically the Riesling. I didn't want the Rosé, I didn't want the red wine, I wanted the Riesling. And so I ordered the wine online for like an online pickup. And I, it was so easy, like so easy. Their website connected me to a bar in my local area. It took me to their website too. And um, I ordered the wine online and drove there and got it from this place. It's called Off The Rocks in Baltimore. I'm not sure if you guys ever heard of it. But they actually, when I went to go get the wine, they gave me the ro the rosé wine and I ordered the Riesling. It was just like such an easy process just switching it out. They were just like, we're sorry about that. But yeah, so I wanted the Riesling. So in honor of Black History Month and this being a black girl magic Riesling, I'm going to crack this wine and give you guys a live review on how it tastes. So uh, let's open this up. We're opening it. Yeah. It smells really good. I mean, Riesling, you really can't go wrong with the Riesling. I already have my wine glass here too, so. Wine glass, let's see how it tastes. Just wanna pour a little bit in, like this much. Mm. 
It tastes good. It tastes like grapes. And it's lightweight. I love sweet wine. This is the wine. And like I said, I think this one was like $22, either between like $20 to $24. And I ordered it on my local bar's website and it was really, really inexpensive. So really good wine and it's Black Girl Magic, Black owned. This brand has been all over social media. Um, it is a black owned brand and these bags are really also hard to get a hold of. So I was gifted this bag by my boyfriend for my birthday. And this is the small shopping bag. Let me show you what it looks like. I really, really love this bag. I always get a ton of compliments on it. Like this, I was gifted this bag by my boyfriend for my birthday. And this is such a cute bag. This color is really pretty. It's a color that I do not own in my closet and now that I have it, it just stands out. So like anytime I wear all black or whatever. And most of the time, I'm never carrying the bag like this. I'm always carrying it crossbody because I love a crossbody bag. So it just sits on me, you know, crossbody or whatever. And surprisingly, this bag, this little shopping bag, okay, can hold so much stuff. So I have packed my keys, cell phone, a camera, lip gloss, so much stuff. And I have the iPhone uh, 11 Pro Max and it fits inside this bag without a problem. So when you open it, of course it has the little snaps so you can kind of snap your bag up. It also has the Telfar tag inside. And also I kept the Telfar um, little shopping tag on the bag too. I just kind of keep it inside there. But yes, I have a tell bar, I have a tell bar, I have a tell bar. And I was so excited to receive this bag. It's super pretty and it's, I don't know, it's just it's such a girly girl bag. This is what the bags look like. The back of it is just plain and it feels really nice. It's so cute and I don't know, this is just such a girly girl bag. I really, really love it. And just to give you guys an idea of like my cell phone, kind of see the phone is in there, but it's on an angle and it's just so gorgeous. It's super pretty. So that's enough about the bag. The next item that I'm gonna be talking about today is this sunscreen. It's called Black Girl Sunscreen. I found out about this sunscreen on TikTok and I had no idea. Normally, like um, with sunscreens, I try to stick with like Myriad or Neutrogena. They're really good. But a lot of the times, like with Neutrogena, they have a really good like sunscreen, honestly, Neutrogena. But sometimes some sunscreens leave a white cast on your face. And as a black woman, um, especially me, since I'm so fair skinned and black, um, I do suffer from hyperpigmentation and when you go out into the sun, the sun can cause damage to your skin and make the hyperpigmentation worse. So with that being said, it's so important to wear sunscreen on your face no matter what color you are, um, especially if you have acne and hyperpigmentation. So this Black Girl Magic Sun, Black, why do I keep saying Black Girl Magic? This Black Girl Sunscreen is SPF 30 infused with jojoba and avocado oil. It's water resistant and lasts for 80 minutes. It's ultra sheer so it will not dry and leave that white cast on your face. And it's really, really nice. I love the fact that it's fragrance free as well because when I put stuff on my face, I don't like all that powder, powdery smell or anything, that sunscreeny smell. This does not have that at all. It's really lightweight, doesn't leave that blue cast or a white cast on your face really really nice to wear and I highly recommend um, for this so this is really good you want to wear a sunscreen no matter what color you are even if you're the most melanated person in the world but sunscreen is where it's at honey because the sun can cause skin damage and you can age early so sunscreen next items that I'm going to be talking about is something relatively new that I just picked up from Ulta just so I can film this video and I actually ended up liking the brand I love how it smells, but I'm still giving it a chance. So it is Pattern by Tracy Ellis Ross. I picked up the leave-in conditioner because I love a good leave-in. I'm a natural girl, all 100% natural. My hair, I wet it, it will curl up. And I also have the Stronghold Gel, which I thought would be similar to Edge Control, but it's not. I'm not sure it's just gel and 
they smell amazing and it's cruelty free just check that out so these are cruelty free which a lot of black brands try to be cruelty free and i can appreciate that um so you know what you're putting on your body a lot of them like contain oils and things that are really good for her skin so that way we're not drying out and we're not like you know using chemicals on you know harsh products on our skin which is so sensitive um especially if you have you know like sensitive skin and stuff so yeah i can appreciate it the next thing that i want to talk about is the honey pot company this is their regular menstrual pad and i think they have an overnight pad but the honey pot company really really loved this um th my first time trying this was in january last month and let me tell you something these pads are really really good i tried it when i was on my cycle and girl what i've been missing out of course these pads are herbal infused with wings it contains mint for cooling lavender for calming and aloe for soothing and when you're on your lady bits your cycle you don't want to be dealing with you know rough and things that are high you want to just be cool and just feel okay and of course the owner of this company she wrote a little message here so she wrote that she was suffering from bacterial vaginosis for eight months and her ancestor appeared to her in a dream and gifted her with a vision to heal herself oh, with the help of her ancestor that came to her in a dream um, she created the honey pot uh, to solve what other brands wouldn't do the power of herbs so these contain herbs they're really really good in soothing and in cooling and refreshing if you guys haven't checked this out already check this out i used to use like always which i still do because that's what i was raised on but then i tried these and i don't know if i can go back to always like i don't know if i can go back you know so definitely give these a try really 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 good company last thing that i'm going to be talking about today will be makeup i'm not a makeup influencer at all but i do enjoy um makeup as any other girl does brand fenty beauty i really really love i really love rihanna's fenty beauty products so i've hopped on the bandwagon and i couldn't i'm i can't get off like she comes up with all this stuff and it's just like girl what I don't have any shadows though because I'm not a huge like eyeshadow girl, but I do love her foundation. So this is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. I really, really love this. This is my go-to and I wear a shade 250 um, in the Pro Filter. I do want to try the other soft matte foundation that she has. I think it's like a hydrating foundation um but i'm an oily skin girl if you guys haven't checked out my other video you can you know that my skin type is oily and i try to stay away from things that are like for dry skin people because many times foundations for drier skin types tend to be hydrating and us oily girls can't use that because our face is already naturally hydrated so you need something to kind of mattify it and tone it down a bit and that's why i love the soft matte pro filter i don't like to be super like mattified but i like to be mattified and i still like to have that natural glowy look and i feel like the fenty beauty soft matte foundation is buildable you can have full coverage you can have light coverage if you want um, but I really enjoy this. This is like my holy grail foundation. I always go back to it no matter what. And it's the uh, bronzer and it's in the shade Beijing Girl. This is a really, really pretty color. Actually, I'm wearing the foundation right now. And I'm also wearing the um, bronzer in Beijing Girl. So this is what it looks like. You can tell I've been going in on this. And really, really love this. So telling you Fenty Beauty's website. Fenty Beauty is, boyfriend actually gifted this to me as well. This is the gloss set that came out a few, I think like a year ago. And it has all these pretty shades. One thing about this brand is that you can put these anywhere. You can actually put this as a highlighter here. You can use lip gloss, of course, for your lips. You can put it on your cheekbones as a blush. You can put it on your eyelid. I mean, there's so many ways to wear Fenty Beauty products and items. And 
that's what I love about it. But you can use them in more than one way, pretty much. Okay, this is the Juvia's Place Foundation. And I picked this up from Ulta. This is the full coverage foundation as well. It's okay. I wear the color Geyser in shade 540. Giza, Giza, G I it's spelled G-I-Z-A. But I wear this and it gives me like a yellow tone. I think maybe because I don't have my bright shade, I'm not sure. Um, but this is an okay brand and for foundation, I think this was like maybe 20 bucks or less, maybe 15. Juvia's Place, she has like foundation, she has eyeshadow. I think she has lipstick too, lip glosses as well, if I'm not mistaken. But she was also um, a, a newer makeup brand. So okay, that's all I'm gonna be sharing with you all today for my Black History Month black brands to shop and black brands that I love and have been using or have tried. Leave in the comment section your favorite black brands to shop or where you like to shop. There are so many black brands, so many black businesses. There are candles, there are healthcare products, there are things for your home, there are things for your cars. Like there are so many black owned businesses and we should highlight them every single month and pass the word along every single month. But I just wanted to do something special because this is Black History Month and I mean, even though I may not look it, I am a black girl. I did my ancestry DNA. I'm 70% African and 30% European. And if you guys wanna see that, I'll do that in like a separate video. But yeah, I mean, I'm on the lighter end of the spectrum, I guess. But at the end of the day, like my parents are black. I'm black, my grandparents are black. I'm just lighter. So um, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like this video thumbs up it leave a comment below if you have questions or anything like that um, i'll try to do my best to tag the items where i purchased them from this month is going to be an awesome month for me because i have quite a few videos planned i took time off in january to kind of focus on where i want my channel to go and how i wanted to grow and what i wanted to focus on so i feel like with the amount of feedback on my channel i kind of have an idea of how i want to move forward with this channel in particular and then also if you guys love to travel don't forget to check out my boyfriend and my channel we have a separate channel it's called marius and nat I'll also leave that in the description bar below so you guys can keep up with us and see all the fun adventures that we go on because we love to travel, we love to try new things. And yeah, you guys, it's been such a pleasure. <laughs> and I'll catch you all in my next video. Take care.